Okay, we are going to, I'm tired of this one, I'm going to go over it. I'm going to kind of show you what I did on the other two, the other video. You start out with masking tape, and I'm going to put it around the canvas here, so that it acts kind of like a guard, and it protects it from drips. Everybody wants me to talk on these videos. So we're going to give it a shot. Let me know what you think. I'm not very comfortable with that. But we shall try. This is an 8x10 canvas that I had done some sponging on a while back. It's one of my first ones I did when I was first starting. But I'm tired of looking at it, so time to do something different. Okay, the paint I'm using is just the cheapo paint you can buy at um, Hobby Lobby or anywhere. It's just for craft painting. I'm not using my good paints, my good acrylic paints when I'm going to use so much. I'm on a budget. I can't afford to do that. I use my System 3s for my other paintings. This one, these, this little projects I'm doing. Having fun with them, but I'm just using my leftover craft paint. Okay. Make sure you can see that. There we okay. go. So we are going to see what's left. If anything is left in this. Not enough for me. That one's about gone too, isn't it? And I have a skewer that I'm just going to kind of play with and see if I like that, if it's going to do enough for me. And it's not doing exactly what I wanted it to do. So let's try some other colors. I do mostly dark colors, the strong ones. I like those best. I thought I would also kind of use some of the paint that I use from my steampunk projects that I do that makes things look like metal and it's a metallic. I'm having to shake it because it seems to be separating some. It's been sitting on the shelf that long. These are fun. They don't take very long to do. And then you just start pulling it through. And if I don't like this, I have a palette knife. Which I'm going to use. This is not doing exactly what I want it to do yet. I take it all the way to the edge. all the way. This is just playing, experimenting. No right or wrong way. You just keep messing with it till you finally end up seeing something you like. So right now I'm trying to find something I like with this. 
you can use a spatula, you can use whatever tool you want. The one thing about abstracts that I'm learning is that whatever trips your trigger, whatever makes you feel good, is with good with abstracts. It's whatever. And I like the way colors end up blending as you pull through. Some of them look like waves. I don't know. I just like I, I just like abstracts. I find them easy for me. The other paintings I do seem they they make me nervous. I can, I do them, but they make me and I want to do them. I like learning a little bit about everything, but they do make me nervous. See how it pulls through? Makes this wonderful design with the other paint, the other colors. I just like the way it does that. We'll see what next. Look at that. Isn't that neat? I just love it. This is kind of like a meditation for me. This is relaxes me. People talk about meditation. I always fall asleep when I try to meditate. It just doesn't work for me. Maybe I just need to sleep. I've never... This relaxes me. This clears my, my head. It clears my mind and my soul out. It's really good. I like it. I am not a teacher. I'm just someone that likes to paint. I'm new at it, and I'm loving it. I love watching everything I've learned. I've learned off of YouTube. I've watched Clive Art. Learned to paint with Clive. Cinnamon. She's awesome too. She does the, the, she's the Art Sharpa. If I remember to, I'll post their links. I love to watch abstract artists. They're amazing. There's some awesome ones like Michael Lang, Sky Taylor. I haven't seen much of Sky stuff lately. Another artist that I really like that doesn't have any videos up yet and she will, is Dusty Gonterman. She was very good. She used to teach me a lot through video, video chats. We do a lot of Google Hangouts. If you like this, I have a lot of paintings for sale. Go to Facebook and like Faith's treasure box and you can actually see in the photos my paintings there's an album there's also other artists on there as well but there is an album with paintings craft star there's a, a site called craft star you can get my paintings on there it's my shops called original ideas um, Fine Art America, you can get um, prints and a little bit of this, some other stuff. Put my name in there. Um, I don't do Etsy. Sorry, guys. I'm on Pinterest, Google Plus. A little bit of everywhere. And at the end of this video, I will make sure and post all that down in the description part. 
where it says more, where you can find more of my art. They're not all abstracts. I have all kinds that I do. How about a little bit of yellow to go with this here? And see how that turns out. I may not like it. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what it does. Make sure you like this, share this. Comments are welcome. have to have a little red. They tease me. I do vermilion a lot. I didn't have any in this. But I like to have a little red in everything I do. One thing I find when you're doing paintings, whoa, is that was almost an, uh, a mishap, is that sometimes when you get close to being done, you have to walk away, or you end up just keep going and going where you do too much. Sometimes it's, it's good just as is. Now this painting will take all night to dry at least 24 hours to dry and then we hope it doesn't crack but if it does it's just character so we'll see how it goes we shall see what color what color what color I'm running out of colors that are gonna not work right This is a skewer that I'm using. On the bigger canvases I use a palette knife and a little tool that I use for um, when I'm making paper beads. It seems to work great for that too. I don't always name my paintings. How many of you that are artists out there name every single painting? They're always talking that you should name them. I just don't always have a name for mine. They don't always... I just don't always feel it's necessary to name everything all the time. It's just like, okay. I just like it as is.
This is metallic. This kind of paint works great if you're doing, if you were doing, um, can you see it? If you were doing uh, steampunk stuff, this is fantastic for aging things to make it look like it's metal. It's fantastic for that. We're just almost done. Look how it mixes and makes its own little designs just by a little bit of skewer. It's awesome. I like how it changes up. It does its own little Don't want all that to come through, so. Trying to make sure it's all. Well, there's our little experiment for the night. I'm done. We'll see how this turns out, guys. I will post this video. Comment, like it, share it, subscribe. And I'll put the links to the other stuff for my other paintings. I have a, a variety of different things that I've done. This is something new that I'm trying. I'm actually kind of liking it. I like the way as you pull it through, how it's pulling through the other colors and making its own designs. And the nice thing about abstract is each person that looks at an abstract, you either love it or you hate it, and you see what you want to see in it. It, it shows itself to be different things. Uh, I'm anxious to see what people see when they look at this. Um, when this is completely dry, I will post 
regular pictures of this, it'll be on Faith's Treasure Box, which is in Facebook. Or it'll also be on Craftstar, and it'll also be on Google+, Twitter. I'll put all those addresses down for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. This is my first talking video. So let me know what you think. Bye.